There's no lamb juice, no vinegar when making the Thai red curry. To make this beast easier to peel, scoop the seed out and microwave the butternut squash for 2 minutes. It's hot but I have hands made in the 1980s so that's okay. Cut the squash, bell pepper and chicken into bite sizes. Use medium low heat to extract some coconut oil then stir fry the red curry paste to release the spices, flavors and aromas. Stir fry the paste until fragrant and more fat is rendered. Then season with sugar and add the second part of the coconut milk. Now we are ready to cook the chicken. Add the butternut squash and the pepper, then water. Cover with the lid so the squash cooks faster, but make sure to stir the pot every a few minutes to make sure nothing gets burned at the bottom. Adjust the taste, add kaffir or makrut lamb leaves, and the last part of the coconut 